Fredo Bay and Lit Yoshi just got arrested in Miami for the NBA young boy shooting that happened well over two years ago. You know what I'm saying? Let's just stop lying and being around the bush. My nigga, let's cut it out all the, all the BS, bruh. Who told? I was supposed to get Bezo 187. Allegedly, he told me the rumors are true. There's a lot of snitching going on. But I ain't gonna say in who or what. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we've been hearing snitching allegations for the longest on both sides. Folks in them was saying, Lit Yoshi was a snitch. Niggas out here saying young boy in them is a rat. People in they camp. I mean, Scotty came released information about young boy years ago and called him a rat. We didn't take a lot of these serious. I think this one right here, a lot of y'all gonna have to take this like up a notch. Before I get started, y'all do me a favor. As I'm smoking on some broccoli, run up them likes. Hit, hit the like button. Go to the notification bell on my channel right quick. Rock out with your boy, Bless One. Make sure you subscribe and comment. Hold on. We're going we gonna to rock out and have a little vibe today. I'm going to break this down the way we got to break this down. Hang on. I'm about to go get a lighter right quick. Y'all hold on. Okay, I'm back now. Thank you for all of y'all. I hope while y'all was waiting, y'all hit that like button right quick. Now, I'm looking at the whole situation, the way the feds roll in. First of all, let's just get this out the way before we talk about who ratted and who didn't. Educational purpose. These, these feds ain't playing, bruh. It's feds season up in here for real, bruh. When I'm telling you, this is like a video game for them to pick and choose which one of you dudes to pick up on this date, that date, and we just gonna be any, meeny, mighty, mo. These niggas really any, meeny, mighty, mo, y'all. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Sometimes you want to smoke, and the wind is blowing way too much, and you can't get down with what you're trying to do with it. That's what happens. Hold on. Perfect. Now you got Fredo Bang. He's in a situation where he clearly doesn't try to let people know who his op is because he know y'all already know. Meaning that Fredo Bang don't really try to be in the way like that. Fredo Bang lets you know what it is and he says what he does and he keep it moving. So when he's in interviews, he tells them he's friends with NBA Youngboy. Now we all probably know the answer to that, but I gotta salute him. You don't want the feds to indict you and pick you up on the very thing he got indicted right now for. You know what I mean? You don't want to get indicted in no situation like that. He's picked up now. Lit Yoshi just came home. He got picked up. Lit Yoshi just got picked up after coming home. The feds been sitting on this case. I'm telling y'all, they know who was it. Remember when they questioned Fredo Bang, and he said it too after NBA Youngboy and them got hit up. He got questioned. They let them go. When they let you go, they like letting you feel like, oh, you ain't the one they looking for. I'm going to tell you why. They let you go and make you feel like everything is cool. You ain't really got to worry about us on your back for this case here. So you can trick yourself out of a position and get other folks in trouble. Now you got him in trouble, her in trouble, and they start rounding y'all up and following who's doing what. I be paying attention to that. No, 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 no cap on that, bro. The feds sit on a case for a long time. Beam. This is why they damn near undefeated, bro. Who the hell is Fredo Bang and Lit Yoshi and NBA Youngboy compared to the feds? I mean, the feds had a whole case on Youngboy. A whole case called Never Free Again. Bro, if you see the feds got a case on young boy called Never Free Again, you supposed to be saying in your mind, okay, if I'm one of his ops, I need to get far the F away from this situation here. Because clearly these niggas gonna be on the get-go to get all of us, bro. Far away, bro. And yeah, y'all close. 
niggas in and trapping themselves, people in all type of situations, you got to look at who told. Now it's not. Notice I didn't say, did somebody tell? We don't got to guess no more. When Fed's sitting on a case like this, motherfuckers is talking, bro. So sit back and wait. It's not if, it's who told. So we, we, we long past... Is, is there a snitch in the camp or not? We've seen all the paperwork on several of the members' cases from young boys in them, TBG. And I ain't here saying none of them. I'm just saying it looks more bad on young boy in them side. You know what I mean? A lot of folks got Lit Yoshi and a lot of type of rumors. We know the situation. Shout out to Lit Yoshi for getting away from the little IV situation in Boosie. Because I ain't like seeing that part. But he should feel some type of way about his uncle not being how you say promoted in the right way by little boosie who said once upon a time ago i got my dog little ivy and it ain't going in a, in a way like that so lit yoshi is not a dude who's gonna care because he's boosie or this and that yoshi told y'all what it is and then little ivy's daughter and son done let y'all know what it is so it, it is what it is now with the snitching rumors on lit yoshi i ain't never spread that because ain't nothing hard evidence or anything to say he snitched Oh, he corroborated and told them. Told them what, nigga? To the people who saying he snitched, who he snitched on and what did he say? All we need to know. That other rah-rah superhero stuff, save it for the next man and woman, bruh. Big facts. One of y'all gonna make a joke and be like, damn, he gotta keep... Lighting up, bro. It's Florida got all type of weathers. You don't see the trees behind me, bro. Look at the wind, bro. Gang, it's a lot of wind out here, bro. Now fast forward, and it was just raining. Now lit Yoshi. It looks real bad for him because all of the bodies they got on him, allegedly, meaning that he's going through cases right now. Now you got to fight this Fed case. You got several Fed cases and several state cases. Some that are gone. I don't know how much more of you still fighting it or what. But I feel like this is at a bad time. And then Fredo Bang down there in Miami, he's doing his thing, bro. Getting ready to promote for more music to be in the way. And this what you get into, bro? This ain't a good look, bro. Like this, this show you, bro. Like even if a nigga's your op or not, bro. You got to still keep it with the principles of, of, of whatever street nature you go by or abide by because I feel like you got to let each other know whatever you abide by, you got to let each other know this is the rules and the principles, bro. Ain't no talking, bro. So sometimes you can co-inherently -inher tell on somebody, bro, without trying to tell on somebody, gang. You could be up in there just trying to get yourself out of a bad predicament, a bad situation. And then your ass tweaking, and now you ending up in there too, bro. I seen this story already, bro. Multiple times to keep it a stack with you. Multiple times, time after time, my nigga. You see this every day. You see this shit every day, bro. Niggas, time after time, they remove themselves from a winning position, bro. Like the other day, people was like, oh, Fredo Bang is, he's so scary. He brought security to the um, batting rules with him and all that. I'm like, why wouldn't you? That don't make me look at him weak because he brought security, bro. That tells me, oh, he out here for real, bro. When folks in them got to click up or, or or get 100 niggas with them or get professional securities or whatnot, that tells me he got a lot to lose and he got them real ops, co-ops or ops. Yeah, in, in today's world, co-ops and o-ops, whatever um, the old man was telling me on the Facebook the other day. I like how he broke it down. All these dudes who are ops, but you got snitches that could be your ops as well who are one of your regular ops, if it makes sense. You got to be on the lookout. Nigga could hate you. Y'all already in beef with each other in an educational purpose war with each other. Why wouldn't he just tell on you? He ain't cut like you. He don't got principles like you. Why would he just let you to be out here to keep getting dubs and he catching L's? This is how they think. I'm trying to warn y'all and tell y'all. Dudes already got envy build up and animosity, bro. You get in a better position, that's it. Lights out. And I ain't even have to pick up the blicky. Just talk to folks in them and bring all the jakes through, bro. And you a rap, cuz. This how they do it. Fredo Bang know what it is, bro. That's why when he do these DJ um, Vlad TV interviews and he asks him questions about young boy, he makes sure to say he cool with the dude. Him and young boy ain't got no beef. And, and, and DJ Vlad will continue. Uh -huh, uh -huh, and he'll be like, and he'll smile. 
That's what you do. That, and I thought he was moving the smartest way. But like I told everybody during that rolling loud, go watch my video. I hate to say I told you so. Go watch my video, how I predicted all this. Everybody in that young boy situation has already got. Whether it takes two days to three days to four days, you got to wait for it. You get got. Unfortunately, we see what's going on now, bro. It's a bad situation for old boy. NBA young boy, salute to you. But this is a bad look, gang. And, and, and to Fredo banging them, we hope you can get out of that situation. You done been down bad before, so you know what to do, nigga. You know how to move. You know how to stay focused. Now, when you rap, dude, depending who you are, some of you rappers are losing $100,000 a day or more than that, more money than that. Facts. You dudes are losing some real bags out here for petty shit. You know what I mean? Damn, bro. That, that's some wild situation to be in, bro. Shout out to everybody involved in this, man. I hope it gets a good look for y'all. But in reality, this is a bad, bad situation. In a little bit, we about to find out who gave the whole entire information, who said what. This is how dirty the game is. You think them folks, Jake's and them is your friends. Now you in a situation like that, they're going to reveal what's really happening. And I told y'all, stay tuned for it, man. It's Fed season. These Feds never going to sleep. And the feds stay watching everything, man, like clockwork. Look, I'm your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. Look, there's a bell next to the subscribe button. Even if you subscribed already, unsubscribe. Hit the subscribe and click on the bell next to it and click on all so you never miss any of your notifications. Look, I'm out, man. Look, like I tell y'all in every single video, I think I'm like the only blogger who says this, who bleeds it, and who means it. And I mean this thoroughly and honestly. Look, love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed, gang. Welcome to another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Y'all tell me in the comment sections, man. Y'all think somebody about to get banned for good? Or y'all think this nigga gonna skirt out of it and get a bell or something? Because this, this the Fed boys now, y'all. This the Feds now. Out of state warrants? Oh, we know what that is already, gang.